Hallo iedereen, welkom bij The Chango. Um, today I want to talk to you about how to use a dictionary and how to use a dictionary correctly and I'll do that with a small video demonstration. Uh, if you go to my blog, you'll find the, uh, a blog post that I've written where you can basically find an overview of uh, which dictionary you should use according to which level and I just wanted to show you a little bit what these dictionaries are and yeah how to actually practically use them and what the advantages are. Uh, on the same blog post you'll also find uh, other online dictionaries and other uh, on paper dictionaries that I've reviewed and that I've given you my personal opinions about. So please check that out as well because it might be interesting for you. Um, so basically on my blog here you'll find uh, A1 to A2, which is what I'll be discussing, A2 to B1, and then B1 onwards. Uh, so basically I'll be covering the dictionaries that you can find in this list according to your level. Okay, so yeah, check out this video and I hope you like it. This is a follow-up video, by the way, on a previous video that I made about Google Translate and why you should never ever use it. And a previous video and blog post that I made about how to use a dictionary correctly and then specifically the grammatical terms that you will find in a dictionary, what they mean, and how uh, using a dictionary is all about um, the context and uh, what context uh, yeah, the word exists in uh, in order for you to be able to use the dictionary correctly. So if you haven't seen those videos or read those blog posts previously, please check that out first because that will make this video a lot easier um, to understand. So first of all, I want to start off with something that a lot of students use. But I think it's one of the reasons why ultimately then students go to Google Translate because they use tools that they either don't know how to use or uh, because they end up using tools that are not super practical, they get frustrated and then go back to Google Translate. And so to stop you from doing that, uh, yeah, I'm making this video basically. Uh, so just briefly, this is the online previous version of uh, the online uh, version, sorry, free version of Vandale, um, links in the blog. Uh, it's nice that it's free, uh, however, um, I would not recommend using the setting Dutch Dutch. Uh, if there's any setting that you should use, it should be English to Dutch or, or Dutch to English or French Dutch, depending on what your native tongue is. They do have a big selection, but I find it a little bit, yeah, not super practical to use. I don't like the layout. I'm not a super big fan of how it looks like. Uh, for example, if I were to type in uh, a word like go, And then it should give me a translation um, quickly. The site is also not ideal always. So before you think that I'm sponsored by Vandala, no, I'm not. I like some of their things, but I really don't like their software all that much. It's a little bit slow and there are some errors, but I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but anyway, this is the free online version. So basically, yeah, check out, first of all, which function you're looking for, whether it's a noun, an adjective, but here in this case, of course, it's a verb, gaan. But look, there are so many, so many options, and I really don't like the layout. It's all of it thrown together, and if you're looking for something very specific, it's not all that practical. I will give you a better alternative. Um, there's a paid-for version of Vandala uh, that we're going to look at uh, later uh, in this video. Then uh, I wanted to, yeah, so Vandala, basically, this free online version, yeah, nice that they have it, but not a fan of layout, not a fan of how to use it, uh, and there are better options out there, okay? So first of all, my favorite option for English native speakers is Babla. Uh, what is really nice is, for example, you can type in a word like Gaan. I'm keeping the words very, very simple. I'll just show you a little bit how it works. Uh, it automatically recognizes it as Dutch, and uh, you could also translate it to German, Dutch to German, German to Dutch, or English to Dutch, uh, Dutch to English. And then there are many other options too for other languages. But for Dutch, that's what they have, Dutch to English or uh, Dutch to German. So basically, if we now type in Gaan and then translate it, um, then what is really practical about it, I really like the layout. It's, it's very, very um, comprehensive and easy to understand and intuitive to use as well. Uh, you can check out the pronunciation of all of the words in Dutch, which is great. So you can immediately check uh, how a word in Dutch would be pronounced. You can, of course, check the English translation. Most of the time it's correct. I have spotted here and there some errors, but most of the times it's correct. Uh, here you can check the conjugation of the verb gaan. So you can immediately see how you would conjugate it. 
which is very practical. So arranged according to different times. So yeah, that is super, super cool. Then um, if we go back to translations, so here you can find different translations. And if I go back to the previous page, then I should exactly, then I should be able to find some examples as well uh, and that is very practical as well so all in all i do like this dictionary i like how intuitive it is i like the fact that you can hear the pronunciation even though it's only in dutch from the netherlands um but still quite practical quite easy to use quite intuitive um some mistakes here and there but in general yeah pretty great then uh, another option so if you want to use another language other than um dutch or um, uh, another language other than English or German as your source language, well, then you could use uh, the free dictionary.com links again in the blog. What is really great about this is that they have a lot, a lot of different languages. Uh, not all of it equally precise, not all of it equally exact. Um, however, if you're using Arabic, Portuguese, uh, Vietnamese, Korean, I don't know what other languages, um, you know, that are maybe smaller, then yeah, this one is a seriously great option. I do really like it. Uh, but I'm not sure how extensive it is depending on the language and I'm also not sure how correct it is. So please give me your feedback. But I do like the fact that it's a free online dictionary uh, and that there are so many, many, many options. So let's just do a small experiment and let's type in again the word gaan. The dictionary automatically recognizes which language you're writing in okay which is also pretty genius um if i were to write for example informasi which exists both uh so informasi so here it automatically recognizes as dutch but if i were to write now information which exists in three different languages in english dutch uh, Ger german sorry and french then i can select the language that I want to uh, use basically here as well. So that is great. Uh, now let's go back to, for example, gaan. Select here Dutch. Okay. And then it gives me the options. So some advantages. Again, here you can listen to the pronunciation uh, of the word in Dutch from the Netherlands. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can see the different translations. You can see uh, the different meanings depending on the sentence or depending on the context. So that is also pretty nice. Uh, here you can select languages, so Arabic, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, Danish, <laughs> Greek, etc. As I said, I'm just not sure about the accuracy of all of that. But uh, I do like it that they have so much on offer. And uh, yeah, if you're not comfortable using English as your source language uh, or any of the major European languages, then yeah, this is a pretty good option. Okay. Uh, it's nice. The one thing that I don't think is possible is that you can um, check the is that you can check the um, conjugation, for example, of a word. Okay, so if we type in "ali," okay, so sometimes it will just give me the definition of the word, and then I just have to scroll down as well. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down gives me a lot of options because it's a long, complicated word that is used in many, many different contexts. It's quite extensive as well. Uh, here you find some synonyms. And then here, all the way down below, you can see how it would be translated to uh, Dutch or other languages that you want. So that you have to get a little bit used to, to the layout. And then if I click here on Gaan, then I'm back on the Dutch version. Okay, so that is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and that's, yeah, that's basically how you use this free online dictionary. Experiment with it a little bit. It's pretty cool. You can't really see the conjugation of the verbs, or at least I have not really found a way to do so, or maybe it depends on the language as well. Uh, but still, pretty cool free online tool. Would recommend it. Uh, finally, there's also the products of Vandala, the online dictionaries, which you have either in paper form as well, but that requires a lot of, let's say, weightlifting okay uh, and today i want to talk to you specifically about two dictionaries that they have on offer so there's the english to dutch dictionary and Dutch the english dictionary which you can buy for i think four euros per year so that's not that much of an investment you can also use it in the vandala app which is a little bit faulty and sometimes crashes but still better than nothing um practical to use i'll show you how to use it in a moment and of course it reduces 
paper and wait and make uh, using a dictionary travel um, you know suited for traveling basically and then there's also this fantastic dictionary uh, which you can also buy in paper form links in the blog as well um, which is Dutch to Dutch but it's basically for Dutch students so the definitions are simplified uh, they're easy to understand with lots of lots of exemplary sentences okay um, this dictionary I think you can also buy online for three or four years the exact prices in my blog per year as well uh, synchronize it on the app, etc. So if you buy these two online dictionaries, then and you log into Vandal, the making account, and the whole go through the whole process, basically, then you have a screen that looks like that. Okay. Uh, what is really nice about it, uh, about this option, is that well, the layout first of all is pretty cool to use. Second of all, one of the major advantages of this one is that you can um, check the pronunciation in Dutch from the Netherlands or Dutch from Flanders. So that is pretty cool to use. And then here is uh, the English to Dutch version, uh, Dutch to English version, which you can select here. And then it should give you some options. So basically, if I select Dutch to English, then here I can just select which translations or which options I want. So pretty intuitive to use, pretty easy to use. I really like the fact that you can um, see the, um, the, the, you can hear rather the pronunciation of the word in Dutch in both Flemish and uh, Dutch from the Netherlands. That's pretty cool in this option. And then here you can use it to check the translation. Unfortunately, because it's in translation uh, dictionary for English students, they don't have the Dutch pronunciation. So it's not as practical as Babla, as the previous, the first dictionary that I've shown you today uh, in, in that sense. But basically, if I look up a word in Dutch here, I can just scroll up and it will immediately give me the pronunciation options here. So that is pretty cool as well. Uh, exemplary sentences you can find here. You can check how the word is used within other um, word definitions. You can find exemplary sentences. Uh, you can see how the word would be used in the dictionary, like alphabetically, what words precede or follow it. So that is also pretty nice. Uh, and then, yeah, here you basically have the English translations. Always look at the context. Here you can select which word you want. So for example, if you type in zijn, uh, which can be translated as a noun, as a verb, or as a pronoun, here you can find that. And then if I go back to NT3, I can check the pronunciation and see the definition. What is really nice for, um, a, for A2 to B1 students, you can use a dictionary in a transitional phase. So basically you can use both. First check the dictionary for uh, the Dutch Dutch dictionary for students to see the definition in Dutch and then uh, check the English dictionary just to see if you've understood um, the meaning of the word, okay? That's a pretty good, let's say, transitional method. And then from B1 onwards, I would highly, highly recommend using only this one, using only this Dutch Dutch dictionary, because what is really nice is uh, that they have simplified definitions, good exemplary sentences, and it basically helps you to train uh, one of the most essential capacities um, or capabilities rather for B1 level, which is being able to define or describe words or concepts or phenomena. Um, so I think this dictionary will help you with that as well. So basically to sum up, uh, A1 to A2 use either Babla, the free dictionary, or a combination of these Vandalen, uh, translation dictionaries and NT Suite to check the pronunciation. They also have French, Spanish, German, uh, and I think that's it. And uh, yeah, uh, those are the most important online dic translation dictionaries that they also have. So you can check that out. All of the links to that are in my blog. Okay. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. And I hope this video showed you how to use uh, dictionaries and which online options you have. For other options, check out my blog. If there's any dictionary that you think I left out on my blog that I think I should still include or that I think that you think I should know about, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. This was Dutch and Go. Dictionaries, yes. Google Translate, no. And I hope this video helped you um, to stay away from the devil. Thank you all for the kijken. Tot de volgende keer. Bye.